Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the endodontic anatomy of the permanent maxillary lateral incisor. First we will discuss the endodontic anatomy in a mesiodistal section. So this is the outline of the two of a maxillary lateral incisor in a mesiodistal section. So the tooth, it has two pulp horns. The outline of the pulp chamber, it is similar to that of the maxillary central incisor. While well, the crown, coronal portion, it has two pulp horns. The size of the pulp chamber, it is smaller and it corresponds to the size of the crown which is a smaller than the maxillary central incisor. There is a single canal and the curvature of the canal in the, in the pikele region, it is mostly in a distal direction. And, but sometimes the curvature of the canal, it is straight. Now, uh, in a labiolingual section, the pulp horn, it is usually prominent. So, this is the pulp horn. This is the pulp horn. And the pulp horn, it is usually prominent. So, the pulp chamber, it is narrow in the incisal region. And in the middle region, it become wide. The pulp cavity, it become taper. And this is a single pulp canal. And in the, in the apical region, the pulp canal either open labially, like in this, in this picture, or either it may open at the tip of the root or in a lingual direction. Now in the cervical part of the tooth, uh, the outline of the pulp cavity, it is triangular or sometimes it is oval as well at the cervical portion. So, and in the apical portion, the outline of the root, it is a bit oval. And the shape of the pulp canal, it is, it is oval to round and it is centered within the dentine. Now, what are the age changes um, that occur within that? Uh, what are the age changes that you can see within the endodontic anatomy of the permanent maxillary lateral incisor? So with age, there is more deposition of the, ter of the secondary dentine and sometimes tertiary dentine. So overall, the size of the pulp chamber and the canal, it is reduced. So let me draw uh, the age changes part with the purple color. So the size of the chamber size of the pulp chamber, it is reduced and the pulp horns, they are obliter obliterated. So now there are no pulp horns. The size of the canal, it is also, it is reduced. So locating the canal in the older patients, it become difficult because of the size and reduction of the of the size of the pulp chamber similar in a labiolingual direction the canal they become it become very thin the shape of the pulp chamber you can see similarly in the cervical section become more oval in shape 
because of the deposition of dentine within the root canal and same in the apical portion it become the canal it become more rounded and smaller so this is all about uh, the permanent maxillary lateral incisor uh, thank you very much for watching this lecture if you have any questions do ask in the comments below uh, follow our instagram account for questions images and flashcards and do subscribe to our channel again thank you and stay blessed